back with a very belated video for you guys and I do apologise. Work had been really, really crazy over this kind of period of time. Um, I am going to give you an update on how Roxy is and after her follow-up of her x-ray, she went to the vet again on the 29th of June just for a follow-up appointment after having her x-ray two weeks before and the confirmation of her condition arthritis and I apologise for not filming this video beforehand because it was my only day off in seven days and I didn't look that great, I didn't feel that great. I literally went to the vet first thing in the morning for the appointment because I thought oh, I'll get it done and get it out the road and it'll give me the rest of the day to myself. So it was another early morning rise and we went there, spent about 20 minutes there if that and came back home and I just chilled out and I had to wash all my uniforms and iron them all over again for my next shifts because I had like four 12 hour shifts after that as well so it had been a wee bit crazy but I'm here now to tell the tale aren't we Roxy? You were here to tell the tale? Let them know how you got on at the vet? Are we? Better late than never eh? Mm -hmm. So we went to see the same vet that done her x-ray, he's now wanting to take over her care so that you can basically see improvements and things like that because if we go to somebody different they're not going to know and they're not going to be able to see how she was the last time so um, we went to see him and I like I always do, I tend to write down all what happens in the appointments now just because um, given that she's got a condition now I can keep track so if you remember in one of my videos um, the last time I spoke about Roxy and the x-ray or um, that she had the vet appointment for the x-ray I showed you this pink book and it basically has all her behaviour issues all that kind of things in it I keep her insurance plan in here and our claim forms as well because um, obviously we have claimed for this condition as she is insured so um, I keep a track of the appointments I basically go to here now and what happens in the appointment I write down um, and things to work on for the next appointment as well. I also keep a track of her weight on here now. Um, now what I will say is that her weight has went up which I was a bit shocked at because a month ago when we first seen the vet for her behaviour problems and we arranged the x-ray appointment, which was on the 26th of May, she was 7.7 .7 kilograms and on the x-ray day, which was the 9th of June, she was 7.8 kilograms and on the 25th of June, which was the appointment we just had, which was a follow-up appointment after the x-ray, she now weighs eight kilograms. Don't you? Mm. You weigh eight kilograms. You're a big hefty hump, aren't you? You're a big hefty hump. Mm hmm Because you eat too much. No, it's not because she eats too much. <laughs> okay, so when we went to the vet, where am I, where am I? Okay, so the two week review, and I'm just going to read this as it is. So, with to continue lifting her up and down the stairs, short walks and reduced jumping. So that is basically to be the same. Now, I have a vision that this is going to be the case for the rest of her days until we get out this flat. When we have a house, it's not going to be a problem. The only problem is going to be obviously going up and down the stairs. Um, hopefully we don't have any stairs to go down into the garden or anything. Um, but for just now, we're obviously up three flights of stairs to get to our flat and we have to carry her up and down the stairs all the time, every day three, four times a day, toilet breaks, all that kind of stuff, we have to lift her up and down the stairs. Um, short walks, um, we have to obviously give her three short 20 minute walks a day, um, maybe two a day, sometimes she only gets one a day, some days she doesn't even get that because it was absolutely chucking down the rain, they just go out the back door for a wee walk around the back garden and that's it really. 
um, so due to her increase of weight which obviously we do need to manage because overweight dogs obviously cause more problems for hips and given that she has arthritis that's not really healthy for her now he did say that we should really reduce her food down now 7 8 what was, she, what was she the last time because the last week he said it was actually all right for her you wouldn't really go any more than that um so seven eight kilograms and um, she was the last time so he wouldn't really go over that um but unfortunately we are currently sitting at eight kilograms um so we have to reduce her food down to 80 grams a day she's currently on 90 so we're only really reducing it by like 10 grams which isn't really a lot um and the reason why she's put on weight is because she's not getting walked the same, she's not getting off the lead, she's not running ragged round the park, she's not sprinting around and getting rid of all that energy and she's not burning off as much fat as what she used to. So all that is just really going to sit and not do anything, hence the weight gain. Um, but we have to reduce her food down um, and if she still continues to put on weight then we're probably going to need to reduce her food down even further but it's hard because she's hungry and I know she's hungry and she scoffs her meal and then she's at your feet for more anytime there's a bustle she's at your back it's really really hard to see her so hungry like I know it's only 10 grams of a difference but like to her that's probably a lot so that, that is kind of hard for me to see her hungry um, and she does get the wee kind of odd treat in between um, and we have been giving her more kind of veggies now so she does enjoy like blueberries and she enjoys carrots as well so um, she has been getting some crunchy carrots. Um, he did obviously mention if we were on long walks to get a pet stroller which I've done a review on given the fact that he gave us that advice we went ahead and got a pet stroller so I'll have the link to the video um, up in the corner there if you want to click on it or you can just obviously search my channel and go and have a wee look um, at it once you've finished watching this video um, and that's just mainly for the fact that we do like and do enjoy going on long walks and I don't want to leave her here and isolate her so she gets to come along with us and she gets a short walk and then she goes in the stroller we just give her a wee push along and you know that's that's her so she gets kind of small sprints of exercise and she gets put in for a rest and we enjoy our walk and we still enjoy the company of the two of them and um, so that was another thing that we got for her and um, we have to continue with the Medicam medication so we are currently on 7.5 kilograms just now so it's a 7.5 mark and um, so we have to continue on that until our next appointment which is in a month's time well it will not be a month now but it's at the I think it's on the 24th of July and um, that we're due to go back and see him so to continue on that daily um, unfortunately we do understand that she might not ever get off that we do understand that it might reduce and she might come off it and we don't need anything but we also understand that if it's not working then we will be getting something stronger for her so I do understand the way it's going to work um, obviously if things don't get any better. Say myself and Jamie said in the appointment that we feel she is about 75% better and um, she doesn't seem to be whining as much, she doesn't seem to be groaning as much and um, she's not sitting in the kind of bottoms up position although she's still doing it she's not doing it as much we're not really noticing it as much um, so in a way she is better on the medication and we feel that she's not as anxious inside either um, which could have been down to pain you know she was maybe in pain maybe that's why she was being like that now last night after obviously going to Largs um, we obviously had her in and out the stroller now we had her on short 
short restricted walks and in the stroller for a race. We did find that she was quite kind of groany last night. Again, once round the park here isn't as much as the 20 minute walk that she does um, at Largs because once round the park can be 10 minutes and that's like hardly anything. So yesterday was probably again more exercise than what she had been used to in the last couple of weeks but it was the right amount that was recommended from the vet. So we did feel that she was a wee bit kind of groany and moany last night um, with that. So we have another review on the 24th of this month, which is July, and it is the same appointment as her booster and her annual checkup. We basically made it on the same day so we can just get it all done in a winner. Um, she'll get her booster, she'll get her kennel cough, and she'll get just in a kind of annual check and as well we can discuss um, reducing the meds or uh, keeping them the same and, and how we're basically getting on with um, the lifestyle changes that we are making for her. There will be another updated video on Roxy in obviously like a couple of weeks time when we get the next review. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is us. So thank you very much you guys for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment and as always, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!